Hey guys, it's been a while since I made a video, so I thought I would stop slacking and finally do something. In this one, I'm going to be taking you out to the bleeding edge of the Ethereum ecosystem to the frontier. In particular, the world of ZK Sync, a really innovative upcoming layer two solution. And I'm going to show you how to potentially get three separate airdrops by interacting with two different protocols on the ZK Sync chain. Now, this is not guaranteed, but I believe your chances are high because all these protocols do not have tokens yet. And I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You spend a couple bucks and you learn about the latest in the L2 scaling space. Well, anyways, let's get into the video. As you can see in the background, I got Orbiter Bridge. What's special about Orbiter is that it lets you bridge your crypto assets, in particular ETH and to a lesser extent USDC, among all these different chains and L2s that other bridges won't take you to, in particular ZK Layer 2s. So you see all these different ones, ZK Space, I've never even heard of that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to be bridging some of my Ether between Arbitrum and ZK Sync. ZK Sync has overtly said that they will have a token they don't currently have a token now. So probably doing things on it is a good idea. I'm gonna be bridging over there from Arbitrum. You could see I'm gonna do 0.1 ether and the fees are pretty low. You could see it's only gonna cost around $2 to bridge there. And you could see how much I save by using Orbiter Bridge, which is crazy, around 50 bucks. Uh, so that's pretty great. And the time is only gonna take 20 seconds, which is pretty impressive as well. So let's get going and actually send it over. Click on the send button. Gives you some information about what you're about to do. When you are ready, click on confirm and send. This should all be really fast. Both Arbitrum and ZK Sync are very, very fast chains. Confirm and send. You're going to get this pop-up from MetaMask. You're going to want to sign it, obviously. Scroll down, click on confirm. My computer is a bit slower than normal because I'm using this uh, screen recording software. So let's take a look. I am not fast forwarding this. We're going to be just doing this in real time. It said 20 seconds. Let's see if this actually takes 20 seconds up. Oh, that was done on the Arbitrum side and on the ZK Sync side. Are we going to be 20 seconds? Taking a bit longer. Okay. And we're all done. So we are done with Orbiter Exchange for this tutorial. We're going to be moving on to thing number two, which is Zigzag Exchange. Zigzag Exchange is an order book exchange on ZK Sync and I think maybe Starknet as well. It doesn't work like an AMM, like Uniswap, like you might be used to if you're a DeFi degen. It's more similar to something like Binance where you have the buyers and the sellers or the bids and the asks. Uh, you could do limit orders or you could do market orders. They actually got their own layer two bridge straight on this website. The reason I didn't use it was one, because I wanted to use Orbiter and bridge from Arbitrum. Whereas if you use the official one, it lets you only do from mainnet. Let's go back to the previous section. I'm going to click on start trading and you'll see here the trading screen. I got to connect my wallet. So you could do it on ZK Sync mainnet or Rinkaby. Rinkaby is the test net. Connect wallet. It's going to actually switch from Arbitrum to mainnet because ZK Sync works from your mainnet wallet on MetaMask and then you do a signature and that signature enters you into ZK Sync. So step one is done. I'm on mainnet for my MetaMask and then you have to connect the MetaMask itself, obviously. So click on the little Fox symbol. You could also log in with ZK Sync Argent Wallet, which is kind of cool. Once that's done, you automatically get the pop-up from MetaMask that's going to ask you to do a signature. That will bring you into the ZK Sync. Click on sign and then it will take you to the next section. If you've never used ZK Sync before, which I haven't on this wallet, you have to pay a small fee to set it up. I believe it's going to cost around $5. Let's see what happens when it pops up. You see in the right hand corner, it says you need to sign a one time transaction to activate your ZK Sync account. This fee for this transaction will be $5.61. So it's a one time fee to set up the account connected to your mainnet wallet but it's worth it because the transactions from then on are going to be really, really cheap. I mean, in the likes of like 50 cents, 25 cents. Now we're ready to trade. I got my 0.1 ether on ZK Sync now, minus a little bit. That was the fees for bridging over. Got the trading interface in front of me. It looks like your standard order book exchange, like a Binance or something like that. On the left side, you see all the trading pairs. I'm going to be trading between ETH and USDC. I bridged over my ether. I'm going to trade it for USDC. This trading is called spot trading because it's actually trading the asset itself. That's what they call spot trading. And you got two different kinds of spot trading, limit or market. Limit is where you set the price you want to trade at and market is you just trade at whatever the price is at right now. 
because I want to choose my price, I'm not really concerned with doing the trade immediately. I'm going to do a limit order, but I'm going to set the limit to something close to what the price is right now. I switch it to sell because I'm selling my Ether for USDC. And you see I have the slider to half of my stack. So I'll be selling half of my ETH stack and I did price at 2800. Click on sell and you just click on sign. And there you go. You just wait until the trade goes through. Committing and it's done. If you want to know what the gas fee was for that swap, it was roughly equivalent to 69 cents US paid in Ether. That's it. Give it a try. I'm totally happy to answer any questions and thanks for watching.